Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We are nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will manifest through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 12, NASDAQ off 34, S&P's off 3, gold contract up $3.50, trading at 1,284 an ounce. Silver up 8 cents, at trading at $19.47 an ounce. Platinum. Up three at fourteen oh three a pound. Light sweet crude down thirty three cents at one oh one forty four a barrel. Bonds the ten year up nine ticks at one twenty three twenty nine. Eight uh, thirty year up eighteen ticks at one thirty four sixteen. King dollar off forty five ticks at seventy nine ninety five. You have the euro up eleven at one thirty eight seventeen, and the yen flat at one oh two point four eight. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have, oh baby? That's going to be a wild one here, folks. So, check it out. Cash S and P. We are at eighteen seventy six point three three. Now, what we've done, folks, is this. First off, you have April fourth. The April fourth high was eighteen ninety seven point two eight. When we look at that structure, we'll go back to April 4th just for a second. Uh, April 4th, we did 781 million shares. Okay? We come back to the S&P, cash S&P, and what we did is this. You came off that high with monster volume from 1897 right down to 1814. We've crawled back up with volume contracting. Now, watch what happened today. This is the deviant part of it. You pull back today with volume contracting, 596 versus 679 of yesterday. Now, what that sets up, folks, that sets up a test on the S&P of the high. Uh, deviant, yes, no doubt. Now, that's in the short term, and, and that's about the most deviant that the market could actually get because you get into the high, maybe spike the high, everyone says, up, oh, we're going up to another high, okay? That's how the S&P is set up. Dow Industrials is set up the exact same way. So these highs, you know, bottom line in the Dow and the NASDAQ, I mean, the, the S&P, look like they're going to get tested. Right now, we're at 16,501. That high that we're talking about is 661. So you're only talking about another 160 points. It's, what's going to be intriguing here as we, as we go through these, however, is that there's numbers that have already out. You get stocks down, you get stocks up. Apple's coming out of 430, and Apple, no doubt, is going to dictate the NASDAQ. So... Now let's go to the comp. NASDAQ comp. Down 34 bucks today. You did 1.7 billion versus 1.8. It's like, okay, man, you know what? This thing also wants a little more juice. You know, it's certainly come down from the 43.71. It came down, broke the February 5th low, broke it with volume. But guess what? Uh, we're already in Wednesday. You get 60 S&P stocks coming out tomorrow, earnings. We got them today. Uh, I suspect, guess what? We're going to basically get up a little bit higher. If we go back and we take a look at the SPY, so you can see this correlation, this is how it is. The SPY is trading at 187.45. The high was 189.70. You come off that, at the high we did 169 million. You come off the high... With 172 million, 167 million. We go higher with 105 million. So the 105 is going against 172. Yesterday we end up doing 85. You're going against 169. So all of that is based, is saying flat out you're going to go back downtown. And here's where the dive, you know, deviance of the market comes in. We just pull back today and we pull back with 70 million. When you pull back with 70 million, that small little structure there and you're this close to the high, it's going to get tested. Now, let's go to the three Qs because the three Qs and the small caps are going to be the place that if you go short 
indices, that's going to be the place to go short. Same deal. Not yet, though. Three Qs. What do we do? You come off the highs. When we come downtown, you come down to downtown. It's 77 million. Right now, we're going into 131 million. We did, we did 25 million. Uh, yesterday, we did 38. Well, we pulled back with 29 today. That's saying, guess what? You got, we'll go Thursday, Friday. This thing's going to try to run in, into... We're at 86. Yeah, I can certainly run right into uh, 8770. You know, we'll we'll see. Yeah, 8770, 88. That's the bottom line. IWM. We take a look at the IWM. Set, set, Russell 2000 is set up the same way. Now the Russell and the NDX 100 are still large ABC downs. The S&P and the Dow would be consolidations. We look at the Russell 2000. Russell 2000 today pulled back with 32 million. Yesterday we did 40 million. The 40 million is going into 86 million. Bottom line is that we got to trade this market in an extraordinary way. Gold contract. We go over to gold. We take a look at gold. What gold did out here, she went sideways. She had uh, 94,000 contracts. You know, uh, we're at 1284. What I would like to see gold do, you know, we had a nice test yesterday. I'd like to see it get out of this lower end of the. Um, range that it's in though. Gold's got to show us a, a wide price spread accelerated volume on the way up. Okay, let's go through some numbers. Facebook. Facebook, I, I think it, we're going to start calling this Teflon Facebook. Why? Because check this out. Facebook closed at $61.36. It was down to $1.37. It's up a buck sixty right now. They didn't make their numbers. <laughs> the CFO is stepping down. <laughs> But when a CFO steps down, folks, okay, that says a huge amount, okay? But Teflon, so the estimate in Facebook was $0.24. Cents. Um, oh, no, okay, so they made, they made the numbers. The estimate was $0.24. Cents, they made $0.34. Cents. They, 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 they made the numbers, and they made it good. Uh, that was the, the bottom line. Top line is that the estimate was $2.36 billion. They made two point five. billion. So they, they did make their numbers. Uh, the CFO, CFO was stepping down. Well, 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 let's let's see exactly what they're saying about it. But you never like to see a CFO step down. Um, CFO stepping down to, to focus. Let's see. Davis Eberson stepping down later this year. Will Siski David Water? Uh, he's going to leave into focus on health care. Yeah. Bottom line, folks. Okay. CFOs always know the most amount of, about a company. You know. So we'll see where that shakes out. Qualcomm. Qualcomm come out with numbers. Let's take a look at Qualcomm. Qualcomm closed at seven at eighty dollars and seventy one cents. She is trading at seventy seven seventy seven now. That's down three bucks. Numbers go like this on Qualcomm. Qualcomm, the estimate was a dollar twenty two. They made a dollar thirty one, so they certainly made their number. Uh their revenue was up four percent. They did six point two uh, billion shares. Uh C T X S Citrix. Uh, Citrix closed at fifty-five dollars and ninety-nine cents. That right now is trading at fifty-seven fifty. So that's up a couple dollars. Don't bite into that. She has a high volume low. Let's see what this. Let's see what this saying number wise. Wow, check this out. What a business this is. Let me see this business for a second. This is they have a they have a margin, folks, of eighty-five percent. So they design, design, develop, market technology solutions that allow applications to be delivered, supported, shared, and demand. I think I got a Citrix card. That's how I think I signed into Bloomberg, actually. Um, bottom line is that, man, 85% gross margins. That's a good number. We take a look at uh, ALGN. Allergen uh, closed out here at uh, $52.45. She's trading at $49.96 right now. And this is a company, of course, that, that had a, a monster spike because... Oh no no a, no this is no it's not this is a technology company this did uh, this is a line A L G N A L G N yeah not uh, not the but not the biotech uh, they design manufacture market um, systems for oh I I know inline systems for your, for your teeth clean braces there you go it's the brace company uh, so that that little baby. Uh, they see the second quarter earnings at 36 to 39. The estimate was 
Yeah, they, they made their numbers too, but they're basically selling that off. 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Come right back.